Hi, my name is Mike Kreitz, and I'm the owner and inventor of the Mr. Manhole System. I'm here today to talk to you about what you might need as you start your career as a Mr. Manhole installer and how things might go when you get out on the job. You'll need to equip yourself with a proper skid steer to run our tools. You'll need trucks and trailer to haul this to the job site. And you'll probably need a four-man crew along with some hand tools. And uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is attach your cutter to the skid loader and get the skid loader off of the trailer you'll want to insert the speed plate into the first manhole. Sometimes the speed plate will have to be centered. It has an adjustable centering point and for different size diameters it requires a slight adjustment. The cutter operator is going to approach the manhole with the cutter and insert the guide shaft through the speed plate and begin making his cut. Before he does that, he's going to need the debris shield installed around the cutter to keep the debris from scattering out into the roadway. The Mr. Manhole Six Shooter is the only cutter in the world that has adjustable cutting diameter. Quickly adjustable in the field in under 30 seconds, and it can cut from 28 inches to 72 inches with optional accessories. After the cut has been made, he's going to pick up the donut, we call it, which is a road overcut in the frame, and remove that from the top of the manhole. There will then be a cleaning operation in which any rings or debris would have to be cleaned out of the excavation. And then the rebuilding process will start. To rebuild, we use our proprietary liner, which is a white plastic material. It is then marked to the appropriate height and slope by a tool that we call an easy slope tool. It puts a black mark on the liner. The liner is then cut with a small battery powered saw and placed back on the cone. It's bonded down with a white sealant. It has a piece of bentonite water stop that's applied around the outside of that joint. Another layer of sealant is applied which adheres the frame to the liner, creates another watertight seal, and the frame is placed back on the liner. We then pour ready mixed concrete in around the frame, the liner, and we vibrate it into place using a battery powered vibrator. That concrete is smoothed, dyed black, brushed. There's a portable sealant that's applied that seals the interface between the repair and the existing asphalt. This keeps water from penetrating and causing any damage to the surrounding pavement. Normally your crews will repair five to ten manholes what I call contiguously so that's all in the same location. This is the most efficient way for your crews to operate. Doing that you should be able to complete about ten manholes per day, eight hour day. When this process is entirely completed you have a watertight vacuum testable repair that will last for many years.